Hi friends! She there. Welcome, welcome. I've had a few people ask about using reshade for Dark Souls 3 to make it look better. So here's a quick tutorial on how to do that. Um, it's very, very easy, very simple, very quick. Um, so let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is download the reshade tool straight from their website. Um, very quick and easy. It downloads an executable file that then allows for post-processing of a game to make it look more enhanced. So we download the file and it comes out to be an executable like so. We open it up, select the top dialog option, and it will populate a list based on the games that are installed on your PC. Easy peasy. Uh, for the sake of this, we're going to select Dark Souls 3 um, and then select the appropriate rendering that the game uses. So for Dark Souls 3, use Direct 3D 10, 11, 12, which is our second um, bulleted option. Great. Um, I'm going to update mine because I already have an installation going in. Um, I prefer just to use standard effects. Uh, if you're going to use the .ini that I supply, this is all you need is the standard effects. Um, but there's a lot of really cool options that I just prefer not to use. So check all of these that you wish to dabble in or not. Um, but for this, we're just going to select standard effects um, and automatically checks suite effects as well. And then we select the effects to actually install, which I'm just leaving all of them ready to go. Happy days. I'm going to install all of these as well. And that's it. So Reshade has been set up for Dark Souls 3 to be used in-game. Okay, now that we have Reshade installed, what we need to do is we need to download the INI file. There's a link in the description. Um, and we need to move that to our, our game folder. So simply download the, the file and move it to your directory. Um, it's usually under Steam. Wherever your Steam location is, Steam apps, common, Dark Souls 3, game. And this is your root directory for your game. So we have our reshade INI that tells the game which shaders to use. And then we copy in the Shio INI that is the settings that you see me use on stream. Once the Shio INI is copied to your root directory, then go ahead and launch the game. As a quick note, use reshade at your own risk. I play Dark Souls 3 offline, so it won't affect my game, and I'm not concerned about online play. However, if you are into online play and you do a lot of PvP, beware that this could cause your account to be banned. That said, let's move forward. So we open up the game, and the first thing that you're going to notice is the reshade menu pop up at the very top of your game window. The default binding is you press the home key and it opens the configuration menu. So we press the home key, we get a, a little side box that looks like this. Now you have a tutorial, you can simply click skip tutorial as we're going over it now, but feel free to go through it yourself. The key part of this is at the very, very top, we have a drop down menu and it reads the directory that your game is installed to. So we simply select the INI file that you've copied over into your game folder, namely Shio, and will automatically set your settings to what I have on my stream. So my INI file, I have selected to use these settings and these shaders to enhance my game. It's very easy to add shaders and to manipulate them based on your personal preferences um, simply by clicking the check marks next to them and they will apply. So you can do all kinds of crazy stuff to your game if that's what you want to play with. So let's look at what these settings do. This is the base game, which is very washed out in the room contrast. And if we enable these settings, it's exactly what I did to get something that I thought was very pretty. I hope this was informative to you. I hope this is helpful. You can use this for any game that you have installed. So toy around with it, have fun. 
and enhance the visuals of the games that we love. I hope this video gave you the information that you need to make your games look better. Thank you for checking the video out. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.